everybody out there. I am sad right now, but I am not really sad because number one, I am opportune to be alive and healthy in the land of the living. So what makes me to be sad is because they called me that one of my friend pastor knew because the thing is like I don't they didn't even tell me earlier or someone just saw me and say, Ah, didn't you know that such so, a so, so person just died and that I was like I was shocked and I was surprised. I said, No, it's a lie that I didn't believe it. Not that I didn't believe it because this period dead, 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 just is just everywhere. I don't know, dead is just flying everywhere. I don't know. So they told me I was like, Hey Jesus, and I lie, and I, lie, and I, lie. I need to check, I need to ask that the person should not tell me that thing again. I don't want to hear it. That was what I was telling the person and when I knew I called I called the relative of the person and as they said yes it was so I said why didn't you call me why didn't you tell me why didn't you send me on whatsapp for me to know for me to come to the barrier why didn't you tell me so I was like telling them like that so just say as ah, somebody that just married somebody that does give birth somebody when she has not married she was praying hoping for God to to favor her for God to give her over now that she has gotten married now look at this kind of thing that has happened to her I was like surprised say Jesus what kind of life is this one she was single, nothing happened to her. She gave birth, nothing happened to her. She got married, nothing happened to her. Reaching to when she will enjoy her home now. They said she just passed on. Imagine. Is that not annoying? She left her baby, small baby, and died like that. For her to eat the fruit of her labor, she did not even enjoy her at all. She did not even enjoy this life. She did not even enjoy her marriage. And she left the husband, and she has died. This life, the life is indeed big. It's big. And I saw one other, our former neighbor again. I asked the girl, what about your brother? She said, the brother has passed on. I said, what happened? Did he seek? She said, he did not seek that he, there was a girl he promised marriage. So he went and, um, he went and begged the girl for the girl to forgive her. Let him set. So reaching there, the girl said, ah, no problem. Welcome. The girl and I gave him drink. And when he just went out, went to his house, he just fell down and just died instantly. So they rushed him to the hospital to check what happened. They said he, 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 he took something um, they, that they infected they infect the, the thing he took, like they drank. So they was like, so where did he went to? Where was the last place he went to? They were confused. They don't even know. So they went, you know these rivers people? They went out to check. They now checked and said it was his girlfriend, his ex-girlfriend. that like, went and um, make peace. He went and asked for forgiveness from her. So she said no problem in life when there are some people you just go and they will just say no problem you think they are happy with you yeah? they will say hey the job will be well, welcome thank god but you don't know what is in their mind so when she told me actually when she told me that her brother has passed on that it was his girlfriend that killed him i said it's normal these days some girls i don't understand and i remember my sister passed on again it was the same woman that killed my sister my sister was coughing and coughing and coughing small time my sister would say something is in her throat to is holding her we thought it was play we thought it was joke we just thought that it was just normal cough now we don't have safely cough but that was what we thought we never knew it was the guy she got pregnant so the guy has a wife he didn't even care that he has a wife before my sister got pregnant for him later on now went and introduced my sister to the wife and if wife was happily that accepted that woman after my sister said ah the wife is good the wife does not have problem the wife really accept her in her home i was like we think her what kind of thing is this one we never knew that she just only accept her for her to have that access to do her something i don't know why if people want to do somebody something is it dead is it dead? Something that you don't know, you will not see the person anymore. Are you not going to die? Why are people just, they like dying, like this, like killing people. They just don't want to see in this world. That's it, they are the one that created the world. It was God that created the world and carried us. He brought us, he said he created every living before he brought us. He does not want us to suffer. I don't know why are people, you, you just have problem with them. The least they could do is for them to just kill you, let them not see you on this earth, on this planet earth again. I don't know why I... They are like that. I don't know why are they, they are like that. It's, and it's not good. So I was just, when I heard all this thing like this, thing, I was just weak. And I just, as I woke up again, I'm weak when I hear this thing again. But I just have to praise God. I said, God, Lord, I give all the glory. Lord, I'm not perfect, but you made me to be okay. You made me to be elder. You made me to be alive in the land of the living. Lord, you, that means you have a purpose in my life. Let your purpose come to 
past that was what i was just praying but as a human being you know you're gonna feel it because number one this girl is close to me so i felt like look at how this girl was going to church doing orchard doing and uh, sanctuary and uh, sanctuary news like everything about church thing she's always there and she's okay she's kind but nothing you tell her she will not encourage you i was like surprised why 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 is this now this marriage that she was saying god i want to marry i want to marry finally she has gotten married and she did not leave again to enjoy the marriage guys i bet this thing is something else so we should be careful especially guys too and women we should be careful check the person you want to you're going out with check the person you want to to marry check well because some guys they might lie to you that they don't have a wife you don't know they have a wife don't know they promised somebody and tomorrow when you go to the house you could not conceive again do not say you're a winch you're a barren person you've used your womb you use it so many things is happening so i said okay let me just come and share it because you can see in my face that i am i'm not okay anyway yesterday i don't know i just carried me i was just using gel to wrap the hair i see if you do i fall it today if i want to go to night of blue if it's a coil that's what i was doing in the night and they just called me this morning and be telling me somebody just brought up the gist and be telling you didn't you know that i jesus I said it is a lie that was what i was saying it's a lie i just say it's normal everybody's gonna die nobody's gonna live on this planet forever everybody has their own time one day everybody must surely go but before we go let's enjoy this life that god brought us for before we go let's give our life to christ because we don't know where we are going to that's the only problem i i have sometimes if i just wake up in the morning no matter how as a human being you, know, you do all sorts of things but sometimes if i just remember I'll say ah this thing i'm doing is you okay by god this thing i'm doing if i die today will i go to heaven i don't want to suffer how can someone you're suffering on earth like this sometimes if some I marry like this, you just see Jesus, this kind of song because on the top list of people that is in air fire, how they going to cope. So I was like saying, God, I beg, perfect me, God, change me, God, use me as your remote, God, change me, God, I beg. Whatever thing I will say, say it before me, do not allow me to say something that I'll, maybe my words might wrong somebody. That's how I used to say each time I wake up and each time if I want to go out, that's what I normally say. Fly with me, Joe. So guys, I'll be ending this video because... Huh, is something else sorry for the background noise my former neighbor packed out and and that neighbor has entered i now have another neighbor so he's the one doing the painting and the trimming that's the noise you're hearing and he's still playing music on the background what to do now when you're staying with neighbors neighbors when you're not staying in your own private house you hear a lot of noise bear with me please i'll be ending this life guys bye see you guys on my next video you can see i'm tired and I'm shocked. I'm really shocked.